This is Cadborough Bay. It's a two minute bike ride from Uvic. Bare feet on the beach. This is pretty amazing. This is where me and my little dog Poncho come at least a few days a week after class for a nice hike. Uh, so this is Cecilia. She takes me everywhere around town. I've been living here for almost two years. Loved every single minute of it. We've, we've really made it possible in the IMP for any student to start any initiative that they're passionate about and that they care about. We were doing an art project at a uh, community clinic in downtown Victoria where people who are homeless, have mental health issues, interact with that community and, and have some really rich experiences there. The island, well, we're surrounded by water um, and the trees. We're accessible to lots of running paths, biking paths, paddleboarding and kayaking. It's an easy escape to get up island. Uh, we have Mount Washington, so it's really quite accessible. I mean. You can hit the west coast, do some surfing, can't really complain. Right now I'm in the hospital, so Monday to Friday, 7.30 to 4.30, um, on the ward, hands-on with patients, um, learning every day. Victoria has so much to offer, even though it is a smaller city compared to Vancouver. I'm finding out new things every day. New delicious breakfast places will pop up, new streets that I've never been down before. Um, I'm really enjoying exploring the city still. And for me, a huge part of that is being able to be close enough to family. Um, you know, you get to take your little mini cruise over to Vancouver. our lobby and lounge and this is one of the lecture theaters playing ping pong they're really really into it yeah I can take you through our lab here where we do some neuroscience research um, concentrating on cells in the brain called neural stem cells and how ion channels actually regulate their um, behaviors I'm here in Duncan, my hometown, which is awesome. And I'm part of the Integrated Community Clerkship, which is a, kind of an alternate program to the traditional third year program that happens in Victoria. It's great, because I have a one-year-old, and um, there's my parents, and my husband's parents, and they're both like, give me the baby. So yeah, that's really helpful. Something that's unique to the ICC is we work with family practice preceptors over the whole year. So I have two local family doctors that I work with once a week for the entire year. Where all the doctors know each other and they're so excited to teach. Speaking about First Nations health with the education that I've been getting recently about actually going to reserve, hearing from the elder about what health is. So there's like this divide that needs to be bridged somehow. The academic space, it's actually, it's beautiful. It's really new. There's just a niche for everyone here, I think. I think that it's a big enough city that you can find your area, explore your interests, but it's also small enough that you'll find that community sense of, of, of feeling like you're part of something and, and that you really fit in and that you belong.